Okay, and welcome back to the video series on the Tysville High School National Honor Society Club Management System. And I really need to shorten that name. Because that can get kind of tiring to say after eight videos now. Okay, well, in this video we're going to be learning how to do the photo submission system. Because we don't want random people just submitting photos to the... Facebook page and publishing that in our name and having us look like we are well depending on the photo and I won't go your imagination can go there okay um, well in order to do this we can actually have where we have our Google account and a Picasa which is a Google service so it's linked to our account have where we can have people just email the pictures to that Picasa album we can then review the pictures, delete whichever ones we don't want, and then just send those to Facebook. So we'll begin by actually creating, or enabling the ability to do that. So we'll go to our Gmail account, go to Photos, and then go to the settings for the Picasa album. Now, if you don't automatically get to that page, you just have to set up the account. It's the first time logging in, but most likely this system's carrying over for everybody else. So just, it should just be there already set up. If not, well, you wouldn't be watching this series anyway, so just be warned of it. So I'm just going to click allow me to upload photos via email. And the secret word, I just put THS NHS. It can pretty much be anything, but it is going to show up in the email right there. So just don't make it like poop. And we're just going to save the changes. And we're going to leave that tab open for so we can go back and copy the email to our Facebook page, which you're going to now. So we'll go back to our Facebook page, and what we want to do is add a photos option. And actually, if you guys didn't see this before, I consolidated some of the tabs into information, our announcements, calendar, and meeting notes. All you had to do was, when you go into the tab settings, is just say move to so-and-so under a drop-down menu, which is not that hard. and it's we've done it a lot of times when we set up the tabs so what I'm gonna do now is create the photos tab but actually wait let's go back because we want to have a view photos option under there so we're gonna just go to our photo album real quick and well because I've done this video so many times I already have an album done there so just bear with me as I delete this album okay now we're going to go to our photos page and just copy the link up here because we're going to link our tab to that photos page. So we'll go back to our welcome tab, go to our manage, and then add or remove modules. And by this time it should be becoming pretty natural to you to add tabs and move them and stuff because it's basic editing on this. So we'll just add a page tab called photos and we're gonna put it after the member wall which also probably condense those walls because we want a suggestions wall so that way people can come and make suggestions for the page the club and things like that and we're gonna hide it from people who don't like it and save those settings so now what we want to do is make that view photos page so we'll just go to view photos and I want to make this under the photos tab and it's just going to be a link so we'll paste that click outside the box to get our new options and we want to set it as top because we want it to open within the same window if it opens in a different window that throws people off and it's kind of random so we'll save those settings and we can go back to view the page and see if our work has been good we'll go to view photos and it brings us right to the link so now what we're going to do is set up the submit photos which is just going to be a media box with the email link and stuff like that so we'll go to view photos or not view photos sorry <laughs> we'll go to the management area and we're going to add the submit photos tab so we'll add or remove modules it's a very repetitive process but it's necessary and we're going to do that also under photos and hide it from people who don't like it so just make sure you have the manage to submit photos and we're just going to drag down a media box 
and save that layout. So we'll go and view the page real quick, making sure the tab's there. And, um, okay, submit photos. And our media box is right there. So now what we're going to do is go edit that media box, which we can just say, click here to edit this page. And then edit the media box. Once that comes up. And to save some time, I'm just going to go get the one I used for the Math Honor Society real quick. So we'll go back to view this page. Kind of just open up in another tab. My Facebook and go to the mu alpha theta and I mean this one's still under construction but this is where I do all the experimenting before I do these tutorial videos so we'll go to submit photos and we're just gonna copy and paste this stuff into our media box so I'll bring that back over and paste it in and delete this email because we don't use it anymore we want the email from the actual Casa web album for the NHS, not the Math Honor Society. So we'll, we're going to go back to that, copy our email for that, go back to our Facebook editing for the media box, and what we actually want to do before that is to paste it in anywhere you can paste text, and then recopy it from there, or else it will copy the code that's related to this section of text, which will kind of mess up the whole page when we try to link it for email addresses. So we'll then just paste it in there and be warned we're just going to do a tiny bit of code, nothing complicated. So we'll go to our source and we're just going to do the begin a link with an A, with the A thing. I don't know, I forgot the technical terminology. It's become automatic now. But I do know hypertext reference which is just saying we're creating a link with this equal sign begin quotation and because we want this to be a um, email we're just going to do mail to colon and paste the email in again there and just end the bracket I'll actually end the quotations then the bracket then go to after our email and end the link with the forward slash a and then the bracket or whatever those are called I forget so we're gonna just click out of that and we'll see it's now linked so we're gonna save that media box if my management session hasn't died hopefully it hasn't which it seems it has so that's another thing you need to be worried about is that you don't want to click outside your management session when you're editing the media box or else things like that happen oh well, I was just having problems closing then just to make sure that it's staying there okay we're good so we'll go back to view our page and under photos we can go to submit photos and one thing I forgot to mention was that you do only get 20 megs per email of photos. So I just put that in parentheses, or yeah, parentheses there to make that clear. So, well, let's try out the link. We're going to click on that. Brings up my email clients. And I'm just going to say Thunderbird because I love it. And we're going to attach some pictures just to test this. We'll say um, tulips are in, well, let's say jellyfish are inappropriate, but we like the desert. And we're just going to send those to our Picasso album. And as those do their thing, I'm just going to make sure all the settings are saved for Picasso. And if we go back to check the status on our email, it's almost done. Okay, and the email sent, so I should be able to refresh the page and it automatically creates an album called Dropbox. So like I said, we think jellyfish are inappropriate. So we're just going to go up to actions and delete the photo. We don't want it in the final album, so we're just going to delete that. But we like Desert. We want that to be on our Facebook page. So we're going to download that photo. 
and just go ahead and save it to my downloads and we'll just go over to Facebook go to photos and because we are administrators we can upload photos so I'll go ahead over to upload photos select the photos I want and of course it posts it comes up way over here in the third screen so we'll then select desert open it I mean if you've ever uploaded photos to Facebook it's the same deal and we'll just create the album and we're just going to save changes skip the publishing so people don't see it and we can see the photos there if we go back to our page and then go to photos we'll see the albums there so that pretty much shows how to create the photo management system and show how it works and hopefully and I probably won't do a tutorial video on how to edit this main page because that means it's just deleting the modules and maybe adding a media box with for a little blurb on what NHS is and again the information that's just you just go to that drop down menu when you go to edit the tab and just move it to wherever you want we've done it a bunch of times now and I don't think I'll make a tutorial video on that and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video